Hey y'all, I'm Shayna and I'm back with another review. This is for Basketball Wives Orlando, season one, episode one. We getting to know the ladies. So let's go ahead and get into it. We got a new franchise, y'all. This is not the one with Evelyn Meanzada, okay? This is the new Basketball Wives with a new cast. So I know what y'all really thinking. Girl, a moo moo? Yes, honey. It's real, real early in the morning here, okay? <laughs> real, real early. This is the moo moo that your grandmother had your grandmother getting all her bills paid, okay? This the one. But it ain't about, it's not about me. Let's go ahead and get into it. If you're new here, also, don't hesitate to subscribe if you enjoy the video. If you're not and you've been here before, you're not yet subscribed, this is a growing channel. I need your help. Hit the subscribe button, like the video, comment, do all the things. If you enjoy the content, check out my other videos too if you want to, okay? So we start off with Megan James, who's not so new, okay? She was on the LA franchise. I didn't watch those seasons that she was on there. I am familiar with her from the Bad Girls Club, and she, you know, is just a full-grown bad girl still. <laughs> she starts off saying she's 30-something years old, and I'm like, girl, you're only 33. Like, what's the secret? But I guess if you run around with these 20-something-year-olds trying to get a basketball player, 30-something is a little season. So she said that she's been connected with numerous players agents and even some referees child she know the game left or right front to back okay basically it's given she's gonna be the shawnee of this franchise and then what do you know we get an appearance from shawnee o'neill yeah the the conversation was lacking for me it looks like look i don't really like you i'm just here to film she like i know some you know some of the wives ex-wives and girlfriends so you know i'll help put you on because megan supposedly just moved to orlando she's older now so she's above the la fast life in her words um shawnee you know you know you don't <laughs> you don't keep up with these new young wives you know you don't girl i don't know why i thought when shawnee became a first lady of the church and she married a pastor that she was going to stop making appearances on basketball wives i don't know why i thought that clearly i was delulu so next we have um we meet our first cast member ashley who has a clothing line she's been married to tony sneal for two years and they have two boys so she's one of the main characters of this episode we'll get into her and we also have morgan Ex-wife to Eric Bled Bledsoe. If I mess up some of these players' names, forgive me, okay? <laughs> she has three children with her ex and is considering moving to Orlando permanently um, for a business venture. She wants to open a beauty school. Now, Morgan was friends with Ashley, but Ashley, she found out Ashley was bringing women to some of the NBA players while they was on the road, including her husband. So she feels like, okay, Ashley, you bringing your friends around, bringing these loosey gooseys around my man, you can't be trusted, you're no friend of mine. Um, they show footage from the summer prior. So Morgan and Ashley were getting into it last summer or whatever that was when they filmed. And I'm like, how long y'all been filming the show? I don't know if it was a pilot to try to get the show picked up. Or what's going on but they was filming the summer before they was cool and then they fell out so keep that in mind some of the girls already know each other up next we have neek who's the girlfriend of Dwayne bacon um i was gonna say do we actually have any wives i guess we got ashley we got a couple <laughs> we got a couple so i'll leave it alone um Neek. That name sounds so familiar. It reminds me, wasn't there a Neek, someone named Neek on Love and Hip Hop? Is that the same person? I don't know. Let me know. So she had to deal with a little baby mama drama from her boyfriend's ex, Mackenzie, who's also a cast member on the show. Her ex-boyfriend shares two children with Mackenzie. Neek has a son. So they're trying to do this blended family thing, but I guess, you know, Neek and Mackenzie wasn't getting along. 
last summer when they was filming that pilot or whatever that was. <laughs> Mackenzie steps on the scene and she's a girlfriend to another former NBA player, Rashad Vaughn. So she's like, okay, look, got rid of that one, got me another one. Y'all must stay dating in this industry. Once I go with a basketball player, I can't go back, okay? I got to stay within the industry. So uh, the brunch starts and we have all of a sudden a fit. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about this argument between Morgan and Ashley's plus one, her friend. I forgot the friend's name. It really wasn't worth writing down. <laughs> Morgan walking up to me, why you looking at me like that? And the girl like, what, what is you talking about? And she's like, why are you looking at me like that? And Ashley like, girl, you're a mother. You're an uh, entrepreneur. You don't have to do this. So Morgan like, girl, get out my face. And then they get go back and forth. This is the stupidest thing. I, like, who does this in real life? Like, I want my reality shows to feel somewhat realistic like the argument didn't sound believable because megan's supposed to be rallying up the girl she's supposed to be getting her own new crew in orlando because she don't know nobody so she's looking like what's going on here how these girls gonna help me turn over a new leaf and help me on my maturity journey when they worse than me i don't know (laughs) i don't know child but uh the argument wasn't given which i thought it was given y'all should have refilmed it or rethought about it or had another form of conflict do i believe there's um real issues between morgan and ashley yes did we need this scene with the friend no after that um morgan leaves the brunch ends nothing else happens i know this is the first episode of a new season and you know a new franchise so we get to know the girls but we, it's too soon to be having filler scenes, <laughs> okay? So next up, we see we meet Mulan, who was at the basketball courts meeting Neek. It was an outdoor court, and Neek was complaining that it was too hot, the sun shining, and she complained about the heat and the sun all episode long. It was starting to get on my last nerve. Girl, you know you live in Orlando. Enough. <laughs> You live in Orlando in the middle of the summer. Like, I just don't understand why. Maybe because I'm a summer baby, so, like, don't come in my warm weather, okay? It's the cold I don't like. So, Mulan is very pretty. Very pretty. I just wish she didn't get so much put into the backside. Like, girl, it's just a little much going on in the back. Because the cameraman kept focusing on it, so I couldn't help but to see that it was a little, it was a little much back there. I would you know ease up a little bit back there ladies you don't need so much (laughs) so she's the ex-girlfriend of bobo one of the tallest nba players she's a former uh college basketball player herself so she knows a little thing or two about basketball and she's also a content creator nick is a content creator as well she got a large she got the largest following out of all the ladies so Y'all know something I don't know. I don't keep up with the influencer girlies. Let me know if I need to check out the IGs. Now, Morgan also arrives to the courts to discuss the fake argument that happened at the brunch. And Mulan like, girl, you and Ashley been had beef. Like, this ain't nothing new. Next. (laughs) So Morgan said, look, I'm having a golfing event. Everybody's invited. They like everybody. Yes, all the ladies are invited. Okay, we're going to see how that go. We see Ashley have a date night with her husband, boring snooze fest. Next, Mackenzie speaks to Neek one-on-one. She's dropping off one of her kids to the house, and she says she rented a house for the summer three doors down from her ex to work on their co-parenting relationship. I would never. I don't want to be that close to anybody, okay? I had a former friend that used to live across the street from me. And notice I said former. It's just too close for comfort. (laughs) Especially I don't need to be that close next to my baby daddy. Three doors down. Mm -mm, I don't got to do all that to work on no co-parenting relationship. You want to see this child? You know where I'm at. We can meet at the Target. (laughs) I'll drop the children off. We both have cars, don't we? I don't got to live walking distance. Talk about the discomfort. And then it's like all these girls like, oh, yeah, I'm just here in Orlando for the summer, for the summer. Is there anybody who actually lives in Orlando like full time? Okay. So as they're speaking, 
Mackenzie did explain that there was some overlap between her relationship with her ex and Neek's current boyfriend. So she like, that's where the issue was. That's why I was calling your home record because you really was. And Neek was like, girl, I didn't know he was telling me lies. I mean, what you want me to do? Girl, listen, because you don't want it to turn around and be you next. But okay. <laughs> they both agreed to, um, to move forward. They're leaving that in the past. They want to work on having a blended family. Shout out to the blended families. Uh, if you're on IG, I do have, I need to start posting on that page a little more. I have a whole page dedicated to blended families because I want one for myself. <laughs> it's black blended families underscore. So go ahead, check it out if you have time. So at the golfing event, my TV cut off a little bit, but I believe we just meet in Lindsay, who's married to Roy Devin Marble and she's expecting. So congratulations. That's a cute little bump in this scene um golf gets rained out because it was only her mckenzie and um uh morgan there were only three that were actually outdoors doing it so it gets rained out thanks to that florida weather you know florida weather will be raining on one side of the street sunny on the other it rained for two minutes and then it's sunny again and everybody be like oh that's just florida weather that in them gators is why I would never live in Florida. Well, Florida is just crazy. Florida is unhinged. I couldn't do it. <laughs> but especially that rain comes some. Mm -mm, that would get on my nerves. So Neek is excited because, of course, she keeps complaining that it's so hot. <laughs> she don't want to be out there. Megan bought Nikki. I didn't catch. Is Nikki with a ball player? Because why she here? Last I know, Nikki is from being four from Black Ink Crew's former girlfriend. And now we know Ford been doing some wild, he a wild boy. He been doing some stuff out on him in and in that streets on his OnlyFans. And Nikki said, don't associate me with him. So, and it's some better scene. Okay. <laughs> so, Lindsay calls out because they, they, they eat and now they're at the table. We got to have some good food. You know, that they don't feed the people. The people will start complaining, saying they're not getting fed on these shows. So, Lindsay calls out Megan. Because she's like, does anybody have anything at the table they need to get out? And Morgan was like, yeah, Mackenzie. And Lindsay was like, actually, or not Morgan, Megan. She was like, actually, Megan, I'm talking about you. Is there something you want to tell Morgan? And everybody was looking like, hmm, what? Looking from side to side, huh? So Megan tells Morgan that she did used to mess with that ex, okay? <laughs> she went out on two group dates with her ex-husband. And she never mentioned it because every time she saw her, it was in a group setting. So she never felt like the time was right to bring it up. Like, when am I going to bring it up? I don't want to bring it up in front of everybody. Uh, you could pull her to the side and be like, girl, can I, can I talk to you over here and tell her? But you know, that's neither here nor there. So Morgan looks pissed. She looking like, oh, really? But she was like, look, I already knew when the divorce came, everything was out on the table. Now, I didn't know if y'all slept together or not. And I still don't. Because Megan, like, we ain't never do nothing. And Morgan, like, mm hmm, yeah, okay, girl, whatever you say. Everybody was messing with my man. I already know. But um, I still welcome you to Orlando with open arms, girl. I don't care. It's fine. That's what she say. Let's see how the season go. And what you mean you welcome her to Orlando with open arms? I thought you was trying to decide if you want to move there permanently. You don't need to live there. Girl, <laughs> we got to get some basketball vibes who live in Orlando if you're going to be in Orlando. But you know what? I would, if you can give me a nice little basketball wives check, I'll stay in Orlando for the summer. Listen, rent me a little house like Mackenzie did. So, um, Megan asked Morgan about her beef with Ashley because she like, that's what I really want to know. What's that about? And Morgan tells them what she told us earlier, that she found out that Ashley was recruiting huzzies to uh, sleep with these players while they're on the road or something along them lines. <laughs> and uh, Mackenzie tells the lady, she's like, look, I'm, am I the only one that's friends with Ashley here? Like, that's my friend. I don't want to hear about it. Should I just go into the bathroom while y'all talking about her? Because I don't want to be involved. And Morgan's like, girl, nobody is holding you hostage. If you don't want to hear about it, there's the door. Dip. <laughs> and McKenzie's like, I just don't. She ain't lead, though. So, girl, be quiet. And Megan was like, well, look, I believe what they telling me. Because she was like, now, I know what I do know is that Ashley, she be talking to uh, Eric. That's Morgan's ex-husband. She's like, she be talking to Eric all the time. 
Now, how do you know that if you only went on two group dates with him? I don't know. They said Eric got a new girlfriend now. Mm. So, um, but Mackenzie's still like, because she's like, listen, I think Ashley is messy from what I heard. Word on the curve is that Ashley's messy. And why? Because they was like, yeah, why would Ashley be comfortable? She got a husband talking to all these men. Why is she talking to all these players anyway? Yeah, why is she? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it, yeah, why? For what, girl? Talk to the wives. You don't need to be talking to the husbands. What's this about? But, um, Mackenzie's still sitting there poking out her lip. So, Morgan and Ashley actually have a meeting. Because Morgan's like, I know for a fact. Now, I don't know for a fact. This is legit. But it's not. Because <laughs> Ashley ends up admitting it. But Morgan was like, I know you've been communicating with my ex. And it's mess, you running your mouth, spreading rumors. It's messing up things with my family, my co-parenting relationship. Like, girl, stop talking to him. Which is funny because, like, that's not your man no more. So you really can't tell her who to talk to. But I would be saying the same thing. Girl, why are you talking to him? For what? Talk to your husband before one of them friends you bringing along on the road. And get to talking to your husband, okay? And what's going on with you and your husband? Is it... What... what, what What's the boundaries in y'all relationship? What's going on that you think this is okay? So Morgan calls Ashley out for being fake. She like, and are you still communicating with him? And Ashley was like, yeah, sure. She like, ain't no yeah, sure. It's a yes or no question, honey. Morgan don't play. And, you know, I feel like I'm going to like her, but it's too soon to figure out to say who I'm really going to like. So I don't want to say yet. Um. Ashley was like, I'm not dealing with this. I'm going home. She go to run off. Morgan go right behind her. Listen, stop talking to him. I already know it came out in a divorce. I know everything. So stop the communication with him. Ashley sitting there scared, like a scared little bunny or something like, mm -mm, I'm leaving. I don't got time for this. I'm above it. I'm better than this. And earlier, Ashley had made a comment to her little friend. And I think she called Morgan a hood rat or something like that. Like, we're going to leave these hood rats in the gutter or something along them lines. And I ain't like that. But okay. Now, Morgan was doing a little much with a can in the face. That was a little childish. <laughs> but other than that, let's see where this goes. I'm going to give it some more time before I decide, you know, should we just cut it off? Y'all let me know. Y'all want to see more? Or y'all like, nah, I ain't really feeling this one. Let me know down in the comments. Check out my community tab and turn on your post notifications so you'll know when I drop another video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.